And as a war between Hamas and Israel drags on, Jewish people in our area are feeling the impact. Yeah, our Daniel Hamburg talked with a Holocaust survivor to get her perspective on this current anti-Semitism. Yeah, Daniel, she's so worried that she doesn't want to show her face tonight. Well, this means she only wanted us to use her first name, Ruth. She says the support behind the Jewish people is stronger than it was 80 years ago, but it's still disturbing to see the ruthless acts of Hamas. Hamas's attack on Israel last Saturday was the deadliest day for Jews since the Holocaust. It breaks my heart, it breaks my head, it breaks my, not my will. Ruth, who didn't want to show her face or give her last name, survived the Nazis, but says in the current climate, she's worried for the world. The Nazis generally didn't do the horrors that happened in Sderot. Like Hitler and the Nazis, whose goal was to kill Jews, Hamas's charter outlines its mission to obliterate the state of Israel and kill Jews. It's an old story. We know that that's exactly what they want. And we certainly hope and know that it's not going to happen. But still, more than 1,300 Israelis have been killed, more kidnapped, including reports of an elderly Holocaust survivor. I heard that I cannot see those things. Frankly, I am not capable. She says what's different now is the general worldwide support of Israel. Of course, there is the opposite also, but the support did not exist in the 40s. She hopes for this war to end. I don't want the Palestinians to suffer. I don't want the Israeli and American people to be killed in Gaza. Now, Ruth says if you know someone in Israel, reach out to them. And if you don't, support your Jewish friends and colleagues here at home. In the studio, Daniel Hamburg, DC News Now.